All right, I'd like to introduce you to the General Machine Products new lasher. It's called the Super J. As you can see, it comes in a fitted case with the rope, two extra spools, and the lasher. We're going to start off showing you how to actually load the spool. All right, I'm going to have Ryan show you how to load the spool on the or the wire onto the spool, excuse me. The thread is a left hand thread. And on the spool, you will see a direction which way the wire should go. And as he is loading it, you'll see how exactly it's done. He's going to cut three of the buckles. leaving the one with the wire tie-off alone. And he's going to trim out the center so it can fit over the spool. Okay, as you can see, turn the buckle in because when you put it on the unit, it's going to be easier when you cut it to grab it with a pair of pliers and pull it out. The wire should face the direction of the hours. So basically, if this is facing this way, you're going to have the wire feeding this direction. I'm going to put the lid on. Again, it is a left-handed thread. You put a little bit of tension against the spool. If you over tighten it, you will not be able to get the, the buckle out of the unit. Now, okay. We're going to take this one off and I'll walk you through how to load and unload with the new one. Okay. We're going to take the unit, the spool, and it just slips right on. Leave the buckle in this area so you can reach it with a pair of pliers. On the spool, you'll see an on and off. This dial, you just want to turn this in the direction it says, and that'll tighten it up. That's all it takes. You don't have to put a pair of pliers on it, just snug it up. All right, now he's going to cut the spool. Have the needle on this. Now, a pair of needle nose pliers, he's going to reach in and pull the buckle out. In the meantime, he is holding that wire in position. If you let go of the wire, the spool is going to unwire and just unravel and it's going to create a mess. Cut the end off. And then he's going to come down underneath, over top, around the spool, and on, you're going to exit on the outside of the wire. Do not go underneath. All right, and then I'm just going to fold that out of the way. All right, now on the front of the machine, you have a gate, which is operated by this lever right here. It is spring loaded, so all you have to do is pull it. To close it, just push it up and it locks in position. This roller rolls, this one does, and this one does. That keeps your cable protected as you're lashing. Up top we have the strand roller. There's a one-way bearing in here. It is only designed to go forward. You do not want to pull your machine in reverse. You will damage the, the wheel and you'll cut grooves in it and you'll damage the machine. Okay? On the front end, there's a strand lock. You push down and they lock in position. Pull the button and they spring back up. Before loading the machine on the wire, make sure these are in the open position. The switch here is for disengaging the barrel. Pull back drop down. There's a detent that'll keep that out of the way while you're, while you're lashing. 
push it up, line the hole up in the plate, and that keeps your lasher locked in position for transporting and for whatever you want to do. On the rear of the machine, it's a roller system for your cable. This is adjustable, operates quite easily. Squeeze the tags, goes up. Push them, it drops back down. To open up the whole plate, you push this lever, which is spring-loaded, pull down, bring it around, and it'll lock in the upward position for loading it on the line. Again, spring-loaded, release it, drop it around, locks in position. We have a strand roller here and a strand lock here. Push down, locks into position, pull it, releases. Again, make sure these are in the open position before you put it on the line. Now to get the machine ready before you put it up, you're gonna release it, swing it around, Release it and let it go around. We are gonna use a heavy duty cable dolly in front of the lasher for supporting the cable. It'll give you a better lash. All right, in order to use this, you're gonna pull the pin. This swings open. There's little push buttons on each one to release the, um, the ball on the other end. Release that one, push. Release it. Oh. Reinstall your pins. Okay, we're gonna swing this up in the air. Reinstall the pin, same thing, push the buttons, and we're ready to go. All right, we're gonna put the lasher up on the line now. Okay, right. There we go. Drop it down. All right, you're gonna engage your strand lock. Again, pushing downward until they both lock in place. Visually make sure they are locked for safety purposes. You wanna to go to the other end of the machine and repeat the process. Again, visually checking to make sure they're locked. Close your front end roller. Release the spring. And lock in position. Okay, pinch it up. It'll make your wrap a lot better when you're lashing. Always keep it up as far as you can go. When positioning your lasher, you do not want to push the lasher backwards. You want to release your strand lock, pick up on the machine, and put it in position. You do not want to push backwards on the machine or it'll damage the uh, roller. Yeah. All right, after your lash is secured on the line, you want to attach your towing bridle on one side. Doesn't matter which holes you use. Now, if the one thing important about this lasher is you do not need a downward pull like other GMP lashers. This one you can pull horizontally and you'll be fine. There's no downward pull needed. When you're ready to begin your pull, you wanna release the barrel, make sure your unit is free, and you can begin lashing.
All right, guys. Good, good.